So, question number 75 is on your screen. Which of this is not a monomer for a high molecular mass silicon polymer? So, this question is come from your polymer chemistry of your class 12 NCRT. So, now we are moving to the solution part. Now, if you see here, they ask about which is not a monomer. Now, if you see the option number 1 and option number 4, these two are used to form a cross link polymer. So, these two option we can neglect it out because they are monomer. Now, if you see this one is used for the link that is line polymer. Okay. Uh, so, this second option that is Me2 SiCl2, it is basically used for linear polymer, sorry not line polymer, it should be used for linear polymer. Okay. So, this one act as a monomer. So, this is also not an option. Now, your third one that is Me3 SiCl, it is used for to stop the chain length, okay. chain length reaction to stop chain length reaction. So, what they are asking? They are not as a monomer. So, which is not a monomer? Your option number 3 is the correct answer of your question number 75. So, now we are moving to the question number 76. So, question number 76 is on your screen. Which of the following statement about the interstitial compound is incorrect? So, now we are moving to the solution part. Here they ask about which one is incorrect, which is not the correct option. So, first mark it okay. and for that is for interstitial compound. Now, if you see the first option, they retain metallic conductivity, this is a true statement. Now, they are chemically reactive, no inert compounds are chemically not reactive. Okay. So, this option that is option number 2 is a false statement and they ask you the incorrect statement. So, option number 2 is the correct answer of your question number 76. So, now we are moving to the another question that is question number 77. So, question number 77 is on your screen. Which one of the following molecules contains no pi bond? So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, it is a very easy question who does not have no pi bonds that is they does not have pi bonds. If you see your water molecule and that water molecule is look like this, it is a V shaped structure. So, it does not contain any pi bond into it. So, water that is option number 2 is the correct answer of your question number 77. This is one of the easiest question of your examination. Okay. So, now we are moving to the another question that is question number 78. So, question number 78 is on your screen. Antiseptic and disinfectants either kill or prevent growth of microorganisms. Identify which of the following statement is not true. So, this question is asked from your chemistry in everyday life of your class 12 NCRT. So, we are moving to the solution part. Now, they asked you which is not true. Okay. So, first mark it they ask you the not true statement that is the false thought statement. Okay. Now, the first option a 0 0.2 percent solution of phenol is an antiseptic while 1 percent solution act as a disinfection. So, this is our true statement. Now, chlorine and iodine are used as a strong disinfectants. No, chlorine is used as a disinfectant. But your iodine is act as an antiseptic. Okay. So, this one is a false statement and this is the correct answer because they ask you not a true statement. So, option number 2 is the correct answer of your question number 78. So, this is come from your chemistry in everyday life of your class 12 NCRT. So, now we are moving to the another question that is question number 79. So, question number 79 is on your screen. 
among the following ethers which one will produce methyl alcohol on treatment with hot concentrated hydrogen iodide. So, now we are moving to the solution part. Now, reaction of methyl alcohol that is uh, among the following which one will produce they produce the methyl alcohol on treatment with concentrated H HI. Okay. Now, if you see this reaction it will be follow like suppose A I am taking this is the methyl alcohol when it is react with hydrogen iodide it will give you a methyl alcohol that is CH3OH. So, this mechanism is called as SN1 mechanism okay. and in SN1 mechanism we know the carbocation carbocation will be formed okay. carbocation will form and we know the stability order for carbocation is tertiary then your secondary then your primary. Okay. This order we are going to follow to see the carbocation stability. Now, if you see among the four options, if I am removing this bond here it will be positive and this is a primary carbocation. So, this is least stable. So, this is not our option. Now, if you see in the second position, if I am removing this part and here it will be generated, it will be give a secondary carbocation. If I am removing this part, it will give you a tertiary carbocation and if I am removing this one again it will be generated here and it will be give you a primary carbocation. So, if you see the option number 3 where it will be generated as tertiary carbocation this is the correct answer of your question number 79. So, how is the reaction will proceed CH3 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 O CH3. So, when it is react with hydrogen iodide it will produce CH3 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 and it will be here as iodine and another product is OH CH3 and this is nothing but this is a methyl alcohol. So, your option number 3 is the correct answer of your question number 79. So, now we are moving to the another question that is question number 80. So, question number 80 is on your screen nylon is an example of. So, this question is come from your polymer chemistry of your class 12 NCRT and the answer is very easy. So, poly sorry that nylon that nylon is an example of polyamide. Okay. So, option number 3 is the correct answer of your question number 80 and this come from your polymer chapter of your class 12 NCERT. So, this is a very easy question. Now, we are moving to the next question that is question number 81. So, question number 81 is on your screen. The structure of isobutyl group in organic compound is. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, this is a very easy question. They ask you which one is the isobutyl group and if you know isobutyl group is look like this CH3, CH3, CH CH2. So, this group is known as isobutyl group. Now, see the option where it will be given this one no this is not the option this is a no this is N group this is also not possible. If you see option number 1 is the correct answer which is an isobutyl group. Now, option number 1 is the correct answer of your question number 81. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 82. So, question number 82 is on your screen. Nitrobenzene on reaction with concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid at 80 to 100 degrees Celsius form which of the following products. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, this question is come from your nitrogen containing compound of your class 12 NCRT and when they ask the nitrobenzene reaction with concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid. So, it will give to introduce introduce a nitro group ok a nitro group introduce a nitro group with the help of this reagent HNO3 and H2SO4. So, how is the structure look like this is a nitrobenzene structure 
and when this nitro benzene is react with HNO3 plus H2SO4. So, what will happen? This nitro group is nothing but this is a meta directing group. Okay. I already mentioned that electron withdrawing group and electron withdrawing groups are the meta directing group, where electron donating group like CH3, those groups are a ortho and para directing group. So, here this is ortho, this is meta and this is para. So, your nitro group will be introduced in this position and you are obtaining the structure like this. And if I do the numbering 1, 2 and 3, means 1 and 3 position we get a nitro group. Now, if you see your options 1, 2, no 1, 2 is not possible, 1, 3 dinitrobenzene, 1, 3 dinitrobenzene is the correct answer of your question number 82. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 83. So, question number 83 is on your screen. Some meta directing substitution in aromatic substitutions are given, which one is the most deactivating group. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, they ask about the which one is most deactivating group. Most deactivating groups are those groups which are electron withdrawing its nature. Okay. So, among this following if you see the NO2 that is nitro group is the most deactivating group in aromatic substitution. So, option number 4 is the correct answer of your question number 83. This concept is also given in your GOC that is general organic chemistry part of a class 11 NCERT. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 84. So, question number 84 is on your screen. 6.02 into 10 to the power 20 molecules of urea are present in 100 ml of its solution is. So, this question is come from your general chemistry that is the some basic concepts of your chemistry of your class 11 NCRT. So, now we are moving to the solution part. Now, if you see they are giving the molecules right, here they are given as a molecules and we know 1 mole is nothing but 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules ok. That is Avogadro number. Now, 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules, it means 1 mole, right. Now, 6.02 into 10 to the power 20 molecules is equal to 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 sorry 10 to the power 20 divided by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. Sorry. Now, if you do the calculation 6.02, 6.02 it will be cancel it out it will be go up. So, you get an answer as 10 to the power minus 3 mole. Now, there is a formula of molarity, molarity is equal to W weight divided by molecular weight of that compound into 1000 divided by V ml. Okay. So, this formula we are going to use here. Now, if you see closely this part is nothing but this is your mole only. Okay. So, if I modify this formula, we are obtaining here, I am going to write here, m equal to number of moles here into 1000 divided by V ml. Okay. So, if you see how much mole we are getting 10 to the power minus 3, 10 to the power minus 3 into 1000 divided by V ml. And how much ml they are giving solution that is 100, it should be in 100. So, these two and these two are cancel it out. Now, if I am writing this part is like this and this, this one will be going out. So, your answer will be coming as 0 
Now, if you see in your option, option number 2 that is 0 0.01 molar is the correct answer of your question number 84. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 85. So, question number 85 is on your screen. So, which of the following is a polar molecule? So, this question is come from your chemical bonding chapter of your class 11 NCRT. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, this question is also a very easy question like polar molecule. So, for that we have to find out the polarity. Now, if you see among this whole four option your SIF4 how it will be look like in silicon it will be coming as call as students get ok. So, here if you see sorry option number 4 that is SF4 ok. So, it is having 6 electrons right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 that is the valence electron. Now, 4 is for bonded F, F, F and F. So, 4 is bonded, 1 is lone pair that is it will be coming as 5. So, it should be an sp 3 D. Now, if you see the BF3, it is having this uh, B F 3 the structure is look like this. So, definitely the dipole moment for this is equal to 0. So, this is not a polar molecule. Now, for S I F 4 it is also look like this. So, here also the dipole moment is equal to 0. Now, for xenon fluoride, xenon tetrafluoride is now see these are cancel it each other and these two are cancelled. So, this one is also mu equal to 0. But if you see SI SF4 this second option sp 3 d structure. So, it will be look like this S F F F and F your lone pair will be present here and F will be F F and F. So, this structure is known as seesaw structure. And if you see the seesaw structure, it will be like this, like this, like this and like this and this one will be good. So, here dipole moment is not equal to 0. Why? Because if two, these two are cancelled out and if these two are cancelled out, this will give you the resultant dipole. So, here that is dipole moment is not equal to 0. So, it means this molecule is a polar molecule. So, your option number 2 is the correct answer of your question number 85. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 86. So, question number 86 is on your screen which is the monomer of neoprene in the following. So, this question is come from your polymer chemistry of your class 12 NCRT. So, now we are moving to the solution part and the solution of this question is very easy. So, they asked the monomer of neoprene and that is a chloroprene ok, chloroprene This is the monomer of a neoprene. Now, among the options, option number 3 is nothing but this is a chloroprene structure and question number 86, option number 3 is the correct answer. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 87. So, question number 87 is on your screen. They given one reaction and they asked what is A and A is nothing but this is a reagent. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, if you see the reactant this N 2 C L minus it will be not in the product means this N 2 C L plus it reduced to H. If you see among the options option number 3 H 3 PO 2 and water it is a reducing agent and this one it is used to reduce this N 2 C L minus part to H plus part ok. So, option number 3 is the correct answer of your question number 87. And this question is come from your nitrogen containing compound of your class 12 and 3 
of your class 12 NCERT. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 88. So, question number 88 is on your screen the radical they given this radical and is an aromatic because it has. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, this question again come from your GOC part of your class 11 NCERT. So, they asked about how many p orbitals are there and how many unpaired electrons is there. So, p orbitals is nothing but this double bond it will be formed in this manner. Okay. I am just showing here double bond, this is the p orbital, this is our p orbital, this is our p orbitals, this is p orbitals, this is our p orbitals. Now, this p orbitals that is your uh, sideways collision will give you the pi bond, right? This is the pi bond, this is a 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 pi bond, okay, sorry. So, these are the pi bond. Okay, these are pi bonds. So, how many pi bonds will be there? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 p orbitals are involving. Now, if you see here 7 p orbitals are given. So, this we can neglect it out. This also we can neglect it out because see here 7 p orbitals. Now, they ask about the number of unpaired electrons. See, here also 1, 2, 3, 4 because they are saying it is an aromatic. So, aromatic means 4 n plus 2 pi electrons. Okay pi electrons should be there and it should be an aromatic it follow this rule. Now, if you see here the unpaired electrons how many unpaired electrons is there the 6 unpaired electrons will be present. Now, people are the students may confuse that this one is be there. So, they can consider as 7 if you are taking this 7 this is not an aromatic compound. Okay, But here they already mentioned that it is an aromatic compound. So, aromatic compounds it should having a 6 unpaired electrons. So, if you see among that option, option number 1 where 6 p orbitals are given and 6 unpaired electrons will be there. So, option number 1 is the correct answer of your question number 88. So, do not forget that if you calculate this one that is the radical part it will be 7 unpaired electrons and if there are 7 unpaired electrons it is not an aromatic compound. But in the question they already mentioned aromatic compound, so it should be a 6 unpaired electrons. Now, we are moving to the next question that is question number 89. So, question number 89 is on your screen. The order of stability of the following tautomeric compound is. So, now we are moving to the solution part. Now, if you see the options, first let us see the option number 3. Okay. In option number 3, if you see there is an hydrogen bond interaction as well as they having this bond in conjugation. So, here hydrogen bonding, it is not a bonding hydrogen interaction I am writing here, hydrogen interaction as well as your resonance. So, as a result this 3 that is the option number 3 is the more stable okay? because there is a two reason one is hydrogen bonding another one is resonance. Now, if you see the option number 2 if from this if I am removing this hydrogen. So, what will happen we will get CH3 C double bond O I am writing here H minus we are H plus we are going to remove from this part. So, it will be a CH minus right H plus if I am removing from this side. So, it having this CH minus C double bond O and CH3. Now, if you see this minus sign it will be go undergo conjugation with this double bond from this side also this side also. So, due to conjugation this is the second stability conjugation. Okay. So, after option number 3 option number 2 is be more stable. Now, if you see here only one thing is there that is hydrogen interaction but conjugation will be not there. So, absence of conjugation only hydrogen interaction there that is the only one thing will be there to make it stable. So, it will be least stable among the others two. So, your order should be third is more stable than second and second is more stable than one. Now, see among the option which one is follow. If you see your only one option that is option number two follow this order. So, option number two is the correct answer of your question number 89. Again, I am telling option number third, it will be stable due to two reasons. One is hydrogen interaction, another one is resonance. 
option 2 that is of not option 2 that is answer 2 that is only one thing will be there to make it stable that is conjugation and in one it will be only one thing that is your hydrogen interaction. So, now we are moving to the last question that is question number 90. So, question number 90 is on your screen which of the following compounds will not undergo friedel craft reaction easily. So, this question is come from your GOC part of your class 11 NCRT and now we are moving to the solution part. So, it is a very easy question they asked about will not undergo friedel craft reaction ok. So, friedel craft reaction where we are attachment on your attachment on your benzene ring ok. Benzene ring take place and this friedel craft reaction is nothing but this is an electrophilic aromatic substitution ok. So, if you see among this following compounds your nitro benzene ok in nitro benzene this nitro group is the most deactivating group and it is not allowed to do this friedel craft reaction and they ask you in the question also which is not undergo friedel craft reaction your nitro benzene will not undergo friedel craft reaction so option number 3 is the correct answer of your question number mm -hmm.